not before you listen to Jackson Clough, BYU baseball star of last night's home debut or home opener win over Utah Valley. BYU now 8-3. and three. Jackson, welcome to Studio B. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, um, you've experienced a lot over the past few years. Now, now you're back playing baseball. Uh, walk us through what the last two and a half years have been like for you. Past two and a half years, waiting a long time to, to play some ball again. Luckily, when I was down in Atlanta, um, had the opportunity to be around a lot of baseball Mondays, talk to my companions a lot about going to hitting facilities and trying to trying to play catch with me. So it was good. But I mean, you can't you can't trade your your time serving as a missionary for anything. So as much as I wanted to come back and play, it was it was good to be out there and spend that time serving. When did you get back? So I got back in June of 2018. Okay, and now uh, you're back and you're playing uh, on the team. You played in 2016. Now you're yeah. playing this year. What's what's it been like to get a little more playing time because you've started all 11 games this year? Yeah, it's been good. It's it's felt a little bit different because my freshman year I was kind of more of a role player. You know, I played a lot of late inning defense. Occasionally I get a start here and there, but I think I almost have as many at bats this year as I did my freshman year. So I don't know. It's it's good. It's good to be back, and it it feels good to I don't know, kind of be in a spot where. You know, if we're going to win, I got to contribute, and up and down the lineup, we're doing that. So, so compared to your freshman season and where you are now, how is the feeling of the locker room and the team similar and different? That's interesting you ask that because I would say this year the team dy- dynamic is is a lot different. I mean, just from um, the lineup standpoint. Our freshman year, we had guys like Colton Shaver, Bronson Larson. These guys you you could rely on for a late inning home run here here and there. But this year, I mean, I was hitting nine my freshman year. Now I'm in the four hole. So it's like it's it's a different dynamic. I'm not going to get up there and hit 15 bombs a year like those guys were. So as far as scoring and, and production-wise, it's a little bit different. But the locker room is the same, man. We, we have a good time. And they, they hooked us up this year. They remodeled our locker room, so we're having a good time in there. Oh, it, yeah. And uh, BYCougars.com uh, put out a really nice video kind of showing it. It was great. Yeah, um, Jordan Wood had some good commentary on that. Yes, video. he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about last night. So, we scheduled you to be on the show before last night's game. And then we find out that uh, you have this incredible game two triples, the game winning hit. Um, you know, you, you drove in three on a stand up triple. Well, well, well. We th- we'd like to think that you're really good and the BYU Sports Nation Karma helps, <laughs> but that combination was really good. What was last night like? Hey, it was great. I'll take the karma because <laughs> Coach told me on Monday, he's like, hey, Sports Nation wants to have you on in this past weekend in Texas. They're like, oh, I better hit a couple triples. Oh, I didn't do so good last week. So <laughs> what, what are we going to talk about, my one for 11 last weekend? Or, so I was like, all right, let's go. But it was, it was a good feeling, and I kind of told you guys, I mean, that last at bat, it felt good because it was either, you know, go ahead RBI in the eighth inning or two opportunities with the bases loaded and I didn't get it done. But luckily I wasn't thinking about that while I was hitting. But it felt good to get that win and just our team just grinding away. They, they gave us opportunities and so it felt good. Jackson Clough, BYU baseball with us. Uh, two triples last night. I want to know what Mike Littlewood says to you when you get to third. The first triple and the second triple. What, what are the interactions like? So the first one, we were still down. We, it was, it was, we were still down by one run and I hit the triple. It just kind of gave me a little high five. But uh, that's it. Nothing. Just no, he, you know he's not a man of, of many words. If you want get it done, <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. <laughs> but uh, the second one, I got a little bit harder. High five with the go ahead. The go ahead. Uh, <laughs> a base clearing triple. I think he said, like, "Let's go, Jack," or something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's that's about all I got. Okay, so you're rounding first, and you've got to look over at Mike, right? To see, am I going to third or not? Yeah. You do it twice. What What's that feeling like when you see him not once but twice give you the yeah yeah Let's go. Hey, I, the third. well, the first one, actually, the second one, I didn't know because I didn't even think it got past the outfielder. I don't know. I I think he slid or just fell down. I don't know. So I was I was surprised I was still going for three. But my my mentality is always just to, you know, go until he stops me. But as soon as you get that wave, it's like, all right, let's go, let's kick it into gear. And it was a stand up triple. I mean, that's that's different, right? Yeah, I was cooking. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's I don't know. Maybe they bobbled it. Maybe something happened. What's your walk-up song this year, and how do you choose it? Welcome to Atlanta by Jermaine Dupri, also known as Ludacris. Um, nice. ATL so, native. Yeah, this is a this was a, an apartment 309 decision. I live with Brian Call, Danny Jelich, and Connor Harding on the basketball team. Okay. Oh, that's trouble. So Connor served in my mission with me down in Atlanta. And he's an Idaho guy. Yeah, he's a, We hold down the four oh, in the Idaho. connection all over. <laughs> he's a sportsman. And yep. so we were talking about it, and, the, and and we had a couple different ideas, and Connor's like, you got to go with Welcome to Atlanta. You, you got to. You got to pay your respects to pay your respects to our place. 
<laughs> so you said same mission as Connor? Yeah, we served together. And you were companions? We tried as hard as we could. <laughs> um, we went on a lot of exchanges, we'll just say that. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. We though. lived together for about five months. But Would he play catch with you? Oh, yeah. Would you rebound with him? or we go play street ball Friday yep. nights. Yep, nice. Friday nights in Atlanta. How's your game as a basketball player? I'm not much of a scorer, but I'll put the heat on you on defense, all right? <laughs> Don't <laughs> underestimate me. I like it. I like it. Um, what, what's your natural position? Because you played second base, first nine, and then you played third of the last two games, right? That's a good question. I don't even know what my natural position is. I, I love playing shortstop and second base. I love being up the middle. That's where I played all mm -hmm. through high school and, and club ball. But I like playing over at third base, too. I would say naturally I'm better up the middle, but third base is If you had to pick one as your favorite, what's your favorite position? Well, I got to get better because I pick shortstop. Shortstop's just where I like to be. But, um, yeah, got to get better. Carson Matthews, he's, he's out playing me right now. There you go. Okay, and we we've got to wrap up. But your dad was an All American here and drafted. Your sister played at Utah Valley, so you have a you have a kind of a baseball softball family. It sounds like. Yeah, we do. It's always been in our family. That's awesome. Let's give you some more BYU sports. Yeah, news more. So three triples. <laughs> Get the whole team on here. Get that karma <laughs> going. Yeah, we need it. We still haven't had an entire team come in for a show. That would that would be that awesome. would be hilarious. Uh, we need the whole men's basketball team. Yes, the whole BYU football, football team in before yeah, the Utah game. Do you mind signing our flag? That'd we got right. it. Yeah. All right, Jackson Clough. Two triples last night. That ties the BYU single game record. Straight out of the ATL. <laughs> <laughs>